Hello and welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining us. Well, today I want to talk about no hook ratchet straps, also sometimes called endless or bundling ratchet straps. These are ratchet straps that have no hardware on the ends of them at all. I think if you watched my other video, sort of a DIY beginner's guide to ratchet straps, you may recall that at one point I mentioned all the different kinds of hardware that some of my ratchet straps have on the end. And I mentioned that some of my ratchet straps have no hardware at all on the ends. Some of you had questions about that, so I'm going to answer those today. So let's get going. So a standard ratchet strap that you would find in any big box store typically has one piece of webbing which is permanently attached to the ratcheting mechanism. It's usually very short and it has a hook on the end of it. There is a second piece of webbing which is not permanently attached to the ratcheting mechanism and also has a hook permanently attached to one end of it. The other end of it has nothing on it and that's the end that you pass through the windlass pull back on itself in order to create tension and begin ratcheting. A no hook ratchet strap is a little different. It has only one piece of webbing. That piece of webbing is permanently attached to one side of the ratcheting mechanism, usually using a box X stitch, which I think we went over in the how to make a dog collar video. I'll put a link to that if you wanna see. But this permanently attached piece of webbing is very long. It is the full length of the ratchet strap. And on the other end of it, the end that is not attached to the ratcheting mechanism, there is no hardware at all. There are no hooks at all on a no hook ratchet strap. You may wonder then how it works. Some people look at this and get a little confounded. That's completely understandable. A typical big box store ratchet strap does have hooks and the idea with the hooks is that they grab onto a tie down point. That kind of ratchet strap, essentially as you tighten it, tries to become a straight line between those two tie down points. In fact, if there were no load in the way and you kept ratcheting and ratcheting and ratcheting, the ratchet strap would basically become a straight line between those two tie down points. When there's a load in the way, the ratchet strap can't become the straight line and instead continually pushes on your load, tying it down and effectively securing it. A no hook ratchet strap works a little differently. It doesn't require tie down points. It couldn't use them anyway. There are no hooks. And so instead of that flattening motion that typical ratchet straps use, instead it bundles two objects together by wrapping around them, then back into itself and then ratcheting. This is pretty useful. In the instance here with this pallet, obviously the hooks are a bit cumbersome. First of all, they can slip up and down the side of the pallet, so you haven't really secured anything at all. It's not a good tool to use to secure this apple box to this pallet. Also, the hooks protrude beyond the edge of the pallet. So if you wanted to stack pallets next to each other, you couldn't get them very close. You would hit the hooks with the pallets and cause all sorts of dilemmas. It's just not a very good method of tying something down to a pallet like this. That's where the no hook ratchet strap comes in. It's a little bit more elegant. You don't have to figure out a way to intertwine two hooks. You don't have the hook spilling over the edge of the pallet. It's just a way more efficient way for people who need to move cargo around to secure the cargo to the pallet. Even if you took a ratchet strap with hooks, wrapped it around in the same fashion, and somehow joined the two hooks together to create a loop, a ratchet strap with hooks just wouldn't do the job as efficiently, elegantly, or safely as a no hook ratchet strap in this instance. There are actually a few ways these ratchet straps could be used in regular life. I'll make another video about applications for no hook ratchet straps. So please be sure to turn on notifications, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. That way you don't miss the video when I post it and you help out the channel. I really, really appreciate that. So until that video next week, please take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.